We all know the story of the walk-to-work vessel Kronborg, the vessel that has changed the entire offshore industry. After three years of service, we have some figures to illustrate her success. Till now, the Kronborg has safely transferred 60,000 people and has executed 2,800 lifting operations. Now, this story will be continued with a second walk-to-work vessel. Walk-to-work, transporting people to a platform with a vessel is maybe 100 times more safe than flying people to an NUI. As a result of the decomplexing strategy of NAM and Shell UK, in the last three years, more and more manned installations are decomplexed into normally unmanned installations. We had a need to decomplex those facilities because the, the maintenance was large and we decided to remove as much as we can from the facilities. These modern NUIs are served by the Kronborg, resulting in major cost savings and an impressive reliability. We uh, achieved a reliability in the asset which we haven't seen in the years before and that is to a large extent also due to the Kronborg. With 40 technicians on board, Kronborg is designed for major maintenance campaigns. But we also realized that the Kronborg is used very often to do what we call interventions. So restarting a facility that had to shut down. The need for a second walk-to-work vessel started to be clear. We boldly challenged a few players in the market to come with solutions. So, of course, anybody could tender for a new build, but we had very stringent demands on a competitive rate. So a conversion is, is really important. After a tender procedure, NAM and Shell UK signed a long-term contract with Wagenborg for this second walk-to-work vessel. A Norwegian build platform supply vessel to be converted into this specialized walk-to-work vessel. On the 15th of December, a standard platform supply vessel arrived in the port of Delzile. We have taken this vessel 16 weeks ago from uh, Norway as a standard platform supply vessel. And in the last 16 weeks, we transformed it into a walk-to-work uh, vessel. We took on a new accommodation, Ampelman gangway system, and besides that we put on a new uh, motion compensated crane. We are building on the success of Kronborg. Bear in mind that Kronborg is now our campaign vessel, and this is the intervention vessel, so this vessel let Kronborg perform even better. After only 12 weeks at the shipyard, the conversion of the second walk-to-work vessel was a fact. Kastelborg was ready to be operational, side-by-side -side Kronborg, and set course for the port of Den Helder. I'm Michel Den Hartog. I'm uh, captain of the Kastelborg, new walk-to-work vessel for Wagenborg Offshore, working for Nam Shell on the North Sea. Kastelborg is certified as ERRV according to HSC UK regulation. With this classification, the vessel can serve as a standby and rescue vessel. ERRV that, uh, that stands for Emergency Response and Rescue Vessel. And in case of an emergency, uh, we can come to the rescue. And that varies from uh, evacuating the platform if that is still possible. And if it's a real disaster where people are actually entering the sea, we can launch our daughter craft and fast rescue craft and uh, rescue uh, the, the persons out of the sea and provide them a safe place here on board. Both Kronborg and Kastelborg are servicing from the port of Den Helder. Every two weeks, the vessels make a port call for supplies and crew changes. The Kastelborg will be used for urgent work and unplanned interventions. For example, starting up systems and performing minor corrective maintenance. That way, the Kronborg can concentrate on the larger, scheduled maintenance campaigns. Kastelborg's first mission starts at the Corvette platform, where a crane issue has to be solved. 
So the second walk to work vessel, the Castileborg, really is the kind of intervention vessel, which is a key enabler to allow quality, uninterrupted time for the, the campaign vessel, the Kronborg, to stay on site and deliver its maintenance campaign. After morning briefing, Castileborg enters the 500 meter zone. Technicians of NAM, Shell, are transferred with the motion compensated gangway system. A safer, more reliable and comfortable way of working compared to helicopter transport. In the past 40 years I was flying to my work, but uh, well, I feel very comfort um, on the boat, on the vessel. Now, this second vessel for us is actually the next step in the development of the new team. Where you see that before we had Kronborg and the flying teams, with this vessel we believe we can actually make the step to operate all of the NUIs without any helicopter team and therefore improving safety. What we are doing on those uh, NUI locations is uh, that we are executing uh, preventive maintenance, corrective maintenance and we also do well stimulations to see if you can get some more gas out of the ground. While working on Corvette, a sudden intervention on the K83 platform is required. Now Castelborg can demonstrate what she's made for. After securing the Corvette platform, the technicians are returning to Castelborg and immediately set course for K83. I think the key of the Castelborg is the walk to work system. The walk to work system means basically the guys finish their work on the platform, they come back across the bridge and they're straight back home. To solve the issue on K83, Castelborg requires a specialist on board Kronborg. That's why Kronborg transferred this specialist to Galleon, the nearest platform. Here, Castelborg can pick him up again. The cooperation between both walk-to-work vessels is a fact. We had a fire shutdown on the K83. There was a fire detection system that was activated, so we had to go there, try to solve the problem, and we found it started up the plant, produced the gas, and it's up and running now. The way of working and the integration between Wagwork and also within Shell, uh, yeah, it's a perfect way of executing uh, maintenance and interventions. With Kronborg and Castelborg, NAM and Shell are entering a new phase of operating and maintaining unmanned platforms. Helicopter platforms and cranes are unnecessary and can be removed, resulting in even less maintenance. It is absolutely the right way to reduce costs. The facilities on board are fantastic. The guys, I believe, enjoy working here. We have a good time with each other. It's a good crew, it's a small crew, it's a happy crew. Walk to work is not a trial anymore. It is there to stay.